I'm here on a brisk uh, November 8th, a Wednesday of 2023. Um, I'm going to show, show you and tell you a little bit of a story about this uh, tie a dot and elm here in Clinton County. Under, here's a, a placard which tells you some things about it, but I'm going to tell you a little bit more. Uh, Tie a dot and elm under the, uh, this elm on July 4th, 1776, resolves declaring independence for John prior to news of action by Congress at Philadelphia. This was an expression of the spirit common to the frontier and led by the famous Fair Play Man. The Fair Play Man me met over at the Chasm, uh, Ch Chasm over by Chasm Run in, in the oldest house in Clinton County, which was Log Cabin at the time. Um, it's over 600, it's, it was there since the 1600, uh, middle, middle 1600s there. But the Tie Dot Elm is, this is, uh, where I'm at, that's not the, this is an elm tree, tree there, but this, that's not the original elm tree. And the real, the, where the original elm tree was, uh, at, at, it's parked over here, it's over, over this way a little ways. And this is just an, you can see it's fall <laughs> leaves right here is where the, they said this is where the original elm tree is and they have a placard over here. This is a little park called, I guess it's called Tyadotton Elm Tree Park or whatever. Uh, you, you can come here and um, fi f go over there and fish at Pine Creek and you have the, you have this uh, uh, bridge right there which has Clinton County on there. Uh, they did. They did fix that. They had. They had Clinton County on one side, and <laughs> the other side they had. They had them flip flopped. All right. Um, they had. There was. There's a right there. The pole. They used to have a flag on there, and a pole, and that, uh, and a uh, placard right there too. But the placard's not on that stone anymore. But over here is where where the original elm tree was. But the original elm tree was taken down and. It, it had, it died of the, the, the one disease out there. But here, okay, it was also, okay, we're getting two of them for one. This is, oh, uh, well, the original elm tree must have been over here or right there. There's another elm tree. So on this site stood the original building of the Pine Creek Presbyterian Church organized 1792 it became Presbyterian Church of Jersey Shore 1851. The tablet erected June 28, 1917. Well, it was the Pine Creek Presbyterian Church. They moved to Jersey Shore, so that but they were in Clinton County at that time. At that time, it was it probably was like Coleman County, where I, where this is located. So. I'm gonna go back across, but I had to. I had to stall a little bit. All right, that was two for one. You got the Presbyterian Church from with the Pine Creek, and you also got the Tie Dot Elm. But the tie, the original spot of the Tie Dot Elm isn't where the tie, that elm tree is today. Right here's right here's a old elm tree stump. That might have been where the old elm tree used to be. So. Yep, soft ground there. I almost fell on my fell on my face. That would have been something. I keep getting these cars going by, so I'm just taking. See right here is the original stone where the plaque placard used to be. I guess it was stolen or taken down. Right here's a right here's a plate over there is Pine Creek. You can fish in there. At one time. The canal, a little further up from here, used to dump, used to dump the water, go, go through here, bringing bringing boats down through, from the Susquehanna down down to down through into the Pine Creek, where the deeper waters are. <clears throat> Fact, if you follow this road, and back and back in there, there's 
some uh, areas where the um, uh, canal is, but I'm not taking you back there. Uh, you can see the, you can fish here, regulation, rules and regulations. They change this every, every now and then because there's always new rules. But over here, Jordan, the last time I fished down here was right down over the hill there. I haven't fished for three years down here. So you can see how nice the park is. Come bring a blanket, come down and enjoy yourself sometime. You know, have a picnic. You can even bring your rods and come and fish. And come enjoy enjoy the shade of the old the elm trees that's all around here. There's more than one elm tree, so the tree still still around, so you have you have oak trees and pine trees and uh, you don't have pine trees in this yeah, you have some pine trees, I might as well say. There's one right there in front of me. Just, sounds like I'm gonna sounds like I'm gonna be lying about that to you and I'm not. <laughs> It's um, where we're located. We're a mix of pine and and hard, uh, pine, uh, soft and hardwood. So, and wait, right, there, right there's a bridge which was on the um, historical marker. I forgot the name of the bridge, but it has a date up on there. I, I, uh, I'm not worried about giving you the the name of the bridge there, but. That is historical bridge. It's been there for a long time. So, so you have you have the elm tree. You had the area where the Presbyterian Church was. You have also you have a a long historical bridge out this way out near here, and you can enjoy, enjoy yourself out here and in this little park area next to the next to the creek or maybe even you get maybe in the summertime if you're daring enough go swimming it's not it's not not against the rule you can't go swimming you can go swimming in, there, in that creek well they're called streams but we but we call them creeks around here so all right well die dot elm um, i guess that might be uh, might be the replacement elm but, all right, I'm going to leave you go. Oh, about the Fair Play Man. I'm not going to leave you go yet. The Fair, fair Play Man, they went down, uh, I think, seven in the group. By the time they got to Philadelphia, there was only two left. Because they were, they fighting, they were fighting Indians on the way down. Fighting to avoid the Indians. And when you got there, they found out that the... Uh, independent uh, declaration of independence was signed they they came they came running back uh, back here and told everybody that they they didn't make it there in time but one 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 uh fair play men constitution and the constitution um declaration of independence I guess we still have it, and I think one was put in the box and hidden behind the uh, Chasm Ferguson house oh, over on the oh, on the um, I can't think of the road. It's on the back road come, going from Lock Haven to Avis. All right, well, one of the oldest roads out here. Uh, I'm down here in South Avis. So if you want to come down and enjoy yourself down here, go ahead. This is South South Avis, very south. It's really in the southeast, southeast of uh, South Avis. It's down down. It's I don't know what this route's called, but it's it's down before everything. I said everything. I try can't get the can't get the thing out right now, my thoughts out. But I'm just just leaving you know about the area. And a little bit about the fair play man. Well, you have a good day.